Welcome back to the workbench. I've got the MN99 on the bench today. We're going to take this thing apart and see why it failed. You've seen this video up here. It's trying to go, and then all of a sudden it just stops. So, uh, yeah, let's take this thing apart and see if we can figure out, one, how to take it apart, because I haven't watched any videos and how to do that. But it does look like there's two screws here, and then there's two screws under the bonnet. So let's try that first. Let's see how that works. So, one screw there. One screw there. And then there were two. Yep, that looks about right. And then there's two under the bonnet. Still got the battery in. So far they're all the same size. That's a good thing. Okay. That was it. That's all I had to do. Hmm. Is it? Oh, it is a connector. Right there. This connector right here, it looks like. We'll disconnect that. Well, I have to undo the electronics anyway. There we go. And the light. All right. There it is. Not much to it, is there? No transmission, not much to that. I do want to look to see if there's any broken gears or if that pinion is slipping. One of the ads that I saw on the internet for this thing was it was waterproof. And I'm going to tell you that I don't think this is waterproof. Because it's... Normally when they're waterproof here, they have that silicone paint stuff on it. I don't see any silicone paint on that. But this is the electronics and the speed control. And to me it looks like there's one MOSFET here for the speed control and that could be why it was given up the ghost. I'm looking to see if the soldering job on this right here is a cold solder. If it isn't, it looks okay. This the um, crystal and the Capacitor right here sticking way outside. See that? Let's get that cleaned up so I don't hurt myself. That will not hurt anything by doing this. Okay. So that is the speed control. We have a rake standard three wire servo. That's kind of nice. And yeah, I'm thinking that, um, I don't think the problem is in here. Let's uh, open up this gearbox, shall we? Looks like it's two screws. One here, one here. These are different screws than the other ones. Put that to the side. All right, let's look at this gearbox and see if we can see anything broken. Let's 
That is very interesting. See how that gear right there has a hole in it? That's not a defect. That's a design choice, but that is a weak spot for sure. I don't see any broken gears or gear pieces in there. We do want to take out this motor. Oh, does this motor? Oh, look at that. Isn't that interesting? Motor just slides out. Oh, that pinion's on there pretty good. That's a good thing. That is. Well, you know what? Kudos for them for making such a inexpensive crawler. With the parts in here. I mean, yeah, you look at it and go, yeah, they could have done a better job. But, I mean, look at the price point this thing is. It's, if it didn't stop working on me it would have been a great little crawler i think and i'm sure that i'm not the only one and i'm sure that this might be a common problem i don't know all right let's uh what's the power switch Let's disconnect it. Let's disconnect the motor. And we'll disconnect the servo. And the lights. Alright, so here is the control board if you're interested. I'll zoom in so you can see what's going on. There's all the numbers. There's the back. Interested in that. That's the in this is the antenna right here. Me ATT. Yeah, that's all there is to it. All right, so what is the plan for this thing? So what's the plan for this thing? Well, I want to keep the motor in here. And I want to keep the servo where it is for now. All I want to do is swap out the radio and the electronic speed control. And I want to see if that makes it crawl better. Let's see if that makes it give up. If, if that works, which I'm pretty sure it will, then we'll go with... Um, the next plan and the next plan would be to upgrade the shocks on this thing upgrade the tires I'm gonna get smaller tires for this because it sits way too high I want to get it lower so that the center of gravity is lower on it and then finally the last thing I want to try to do and figure out how to do is get this servo which looks kind of weird I want to get this servo. Is it a standard servo? Yes, it is. Good, good, good. I want to get this servo mounted to the axle. That's going to get rid of that bump steer that I've talked about in the last video. So those are the things that I want to do first to this thing. Just try to make it a better crawler. Let me know your thoughts on what I should do with this thing down in the comments below but I need to get the parts and I need to finish a couple other projects first probably I've got that K24 to finish and I've got that Orlando Hunter to start working on but I'd like to get this going and I've got all the other projects on the back well, as well so yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you're interested in seeing this thing 
and where we can take it. Thanks for watching, and we'll uh, talk to you again soon.